yo, yo! What's going on, champions? This is Marquise Money Mike Williams with another episode. Come on, you gotta say it with me. I am a champion. That's right, I'm just hanging out. You know, I was rolling through the city a little bit earlier today and, and I was just reflecting on life, uh, how I got to this position where I am in life. You know, all the things that I had to go through, all the things that I had to accomplish, all the things that I had to overcome. You know, in, the, in, in a little bit early in the year, we talked about having a plan and, and being excited about that plan and, and having something that you believe in and, and creating a movement. And today, what I want to talk to you about are the giants in your life. You know, and I'm not talking about the New York Giants because I'm a Minnesota fan, but I'm talking about the giants that you encounter in your life on your pursuit of happiness. The giants that you encounter in your life on your pursuit of the goal, on your pursuit of success, on whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, you're going to come across giants. And, and there's three things that I need you to do when you come across these giants if you're ever going to hope for your year, for your success to come to fruition. The first thing I need to do, I need you to do, I need you to identify the giant. You need to know what you're fighting up. You need to know what you're going up against. You need to identify the giant. Whatever it is the giant is in your life. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be your bank account. It could be somebody that's negative. It could be your uh, you could be it could be your vehicle it could be you whatever it is you got to identify what the giant is you got to know what the giant's trying to hold you back in what areas it could be spiritually it could be mentally it could be physically it could be emotionally it could be financially you got to know what the giant is doing to hold you back you got to know what they're saying I guarantee you the giants not saying fee five fold fum the giants saying things like you're never gonna be successful it's never gonna work from you for you that person is never going to want to be a part of your life you're going to jail you're never going to reach financial stability that's what the giant is saying and you have to recognize it and be able to identify when it's a giant obstacle in your life the second thing you got to do and, and this is really important because after you identify the giant after you know what the giant is you got to turn around and face the giant, baby. You got to face it face to face, whether you're looking at it dead in the eye, whether you're looking up at it. You know, I think about Mike Tyson. You know, Mike Tyson was one of the baddest heavyweights ever to come into the boxing ring. And most of his opponents, he was shorter than. But Mike had the eye of the tiger. He would look up at his opponents like, I'm about to knock you out. And that's how you have to be with your giant. You have to be able to look it dead in the face. It could be your mom. It could be your dad, it could be your significant other, it could be your friends, it could be your associates, it could be your car, you can, it could be you. You got to look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, no matter what way that I've been taught to think, no matter what way that my life has been going up to this point, this is how it's going to go from this point forward. And you have to face that giant. You got to face it head on because there's no way for you to do this last part if you don't face it. And this last thing I need you to do, the third thing, you'll never be a champion if you never know if you never are able to do this third thing I need you to overcome the giant that's right I need you to overcome the giant you don't have to defeat it but you gotta overcome the giant there's many bullies that are bullying younger people bullying smaller people but when that smaller person fights back they might not beat up the bully but what they've done is they've overcome that giant that giant thinks twice before they mess with that person because they overcame. They stood up for themselves. You have to stand up for yourself to whatever's trying to hold you back from reaching your goals and reaching your dreams. Whatever it is that you're trying to, to, to accomplish, you got to stand up and face that giant after you identify it. Because once you face that giant, once you, once you face it and say, I'm not going to allow you to stop me anymore. And once you have that purpose that's driving you, once you understand whatever it is, if, if you want to be over here, you're over here right now, and whatever is standing between you, you say, if I got to go through this to get to here, then by golly, I'm going to go through this because nothing's going to stop me this year. There's nothing that's going to stop me from the greatness that's on the inside of me just waiting to bust out. See, a lot of you are good right now, but it's time for you to get great. So three things, you got to identify the giant, you got to identify it, then you got to face it, and then you got to overcome it, baby. And once you do those three things, 
you're going to find yourself starting to walk into a success that you never would have imagined that you walk into. Everything that you've set forth for the, this year, everything that you've wanted to accomplish, everything that you've thought about, you're going to reach far, far beyond those things, you guys. So always remember, you're the best investment that you got. You're the best investment that you got. Nothing beats you. And you were born to win. The moment that you were born, you were born to win. So play to win right now. Don't wait. Don't take a day off. Play to win now. Because you are already a champion.